to the next video in today's video i will show you how to configure environment variables for a native ios project so firstly if you have any sensitive kind of a data like an api key you should not be storing it uh, inside your uh, client application or inside your app like mobile application you should save it inside uh, uh, your backend applications so it should be on the server side uh, no uh, like every uh, client application or every mobile app uh, anyone can uh, reverse engineer it however hard you try that's why it is not adv advisable to store api keys like sensitive api keys inside uh, the mobile application code base itself but uh, if you want to store any kind of uh, other, other kind of data uh, which might vary depending on uh, developer to developer you can store it over uh, inside your environment variables so what i have done is that i have created two plist file one is debug another is release which you can see over here so all you have to do is right click new file and you just search for list and select the property list and click next so i have already created it uh, so give one name as debug create another file uh, give it name uh, name it as release so here you can see i have just added two uh, keys so one is api key other is base url same thing and i have just changed the value for debug similarly for release i have done the same thing uh, like api key and uh, sorry api key and base url only the values are changed uh, for release now uh, um, i already know that there is something called xc config for ios project as well but unfortunately i couldn't get it working with swift uh, that's why i decided to go with uh, this plist approach next inside your view controller so i have taken a file name variable and de depending on whether you are on inside the deb debug mode or release mode I am appropriately assigning uh, that name to it. So uh, these are the same name which we have uh, named our plist file. Next we are just searching for those file of type plist which you can see over here. And once we get that we are getting all those all the things which are present inside uh, that particular uh, file in form of a dictionary. So here you can see uh, next I am getting an API key and base URL key from that dictionary and just printing it out. So yeah that's how uh, simple it is. Uh, yeah i think uh, that's it uh, also uh, if you want uh, like i'm not sure it depends it will depend on your project whether you want to commit this to uh, uh, you know uh, to your uh, uh, to your git uh, or if you want to ship it with your project if you want to ship it, it, it with your project you can check click on this check mark like ta for target membership if not you can uncheck it so it depends on you uh, similarly it goes for git as well so uh, sorry for git you might have to add it to git ignore as well so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye